Hi everyone, it's me and Lloyd. We are here today to talk about opinions. So opinion eaters, that's when you say yes. We're going to read Hey Little Aunt by Philip and Hannah Hoos, illustrated um, by Debbie Tilly. So Philip and Hannah wrote the book together and Debbie drew the pictures. I really like how they work together as a team to make this book so fun. I love how the illustrator doesn't just draw this person standing and then a little itty bitty ant. She makes it so that you see it looks like you're looking at a kid's face up close and personal and you can see that little ant because we know that ants are super duper small. If you have not seen an ant, when you go outside next, I want you to check out the ground. I bet you on the grass or even usually on the sidewalk, you'll see them walking around. If you ever had a picnic or you ate outside, you will usually see ants come because they like to eat your crumbs. So in the story, you're going to hear two opinions. One will be the opinion of the ant. And the other will be the opinion of the child, of the kid. So, I want to hear your opinion when we're done. So listen to the story. Listen to both sides. Remember, your opinion might be different than someone else's. And that's okay. So they have two different opinions. They do not agree. But listen carefully because you might have an opinion at first and then you might change your mind. Because you're going to hear some of the things that they'll say and you'll say, hmm. That's true, I never thought of that. Or you might say, no, I don't agree. I still think that my first thought was the right thought. So, listen to Hey Little Aunt, keep an open mind, and then tell me your opinion. Hey Little Aunt. Hey, little ant. So this is the kid talking. It says, kid. Hey, little ant down in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well, now it's going to squish you flat. All the way down there. That's the ant. So, so small. Now the ant is speaking. Please, oh please, do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, don't make me die. There's a bottle cap. That's how small the ant is. So you know how big a bottle cap is. It's not that big. Look how big it is compared to the ant. Wow. And I love how the writers made the story rhyme. Here, rhyming words. Now the kid is speaking. Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You are so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small. I don't think it'll hurt at all. My turn. Now the ant is speaking. But you're a giant and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close. I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Now the kid is speaking. Are you crazy? Me like you? I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Now 
Now the ant is speaking. Oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nest mates need me because I am strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. The kid is speaking. But my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and bread crumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. A crook is someone who's robbing or stealing something. He's taking a crumb food. The ant says, Hey, I'm not a crook. Kid, read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please don't make your shoe come down. So the ant's opinion is, please don't squish me. You shouldn't squish me. And the kid's opinion is, yes, I should. I should squish you. I should squish the ant. Hmm. Which side are you on? Okay. Maybe you'll change your mind. Maybe not. Now the kid is speaking. But all my friends squish ants each, each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me, they're listening too. They all say I should squish you. Hmm. Now the ant is speaking. I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? Hey little ant. So, what do you think that kid should do? Should he put his foot down and squish that ant? It's stuck this page here. Squish him with the shoe or no, he shouldn't. He should leave him be and let that little ant free. What do you think? Tell me your opinion. Make sure you are using a full sentence and make sure you tell me why. Make sure you use that word because I'll show you in a minute what I would do. I drew my picture of my aunt and I drew a, a, like a zoomed in close up of the aunt, just kind of like how the illustrator, illustrator in this story did that. You could see the different perspectives of the characters when they zoom in so we can really see what's going on in that ant world of theirs because normally in, with our normal eyes we can't see all of that right so we zoomed in on there's my ant in my opinion the kid should not squish the ant i think that the ant is minding his business he's just being an ant that's what they do they collect their crumbs and then they bring it home to their little ant family so in my opinion i think that the kid should not squish the ant maybe you have a different opinion Maybe you really, really don't like ants. Uh, before I read this story and heard the ants side of the, of, or I heard the ants opinion, like why the kid, he was saying why he shouldn't be squished because you know, he has a life, he has, he has a family, he works hard. Before I heard that, 
I used to be one of those people that thought you should just squish the ant. Because when I was a kid, I left my lunch in my um, cubby at school. And I kind of forgot about it. And like a few days later, I brought it home. And when I brought it home, I opened it up and guess what was inside? Ants. Uh, well, I was not happy. I kind of screamed and it was a big huge thing and I was kind of scared of ants and grossed out by them so before I read this story my opinion was yes uh, we should just squish all the ants but guess what after I read this story and after I heard the side of the ant like hearing why he shouldn't be squished well now I know I I, I can kind of see why his opinion is different than mine so I actually changed my opinion did yours change? I don't know. You're going to have to tell me in your writing. So I'm going to say the, that's a capital T because it's the start of our sentence. T, and it's a word wall word, so you know to spell it. T H E, the, the, finger space. Now I'm going to stretch out kid, or you can tap it out. K I D, kid. Kid. I hear a k k. I'm gonna write a lowercase k. K i i. I hear i. D. I hear d. The kid. Finger space. Should. Sh oh, I hear sh. Sh. Uh. 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 I hear. Oh. Uh. D. D. I hear d. The kid should, finger space, not, n, n, I hear n, n, a, a, o, t, t, I hear t. The kid should not sweep, squish, squ, 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 I hear s, squ, 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 I hear a q, I think. Oh, and I always know if there's a q, there's a u right after. The kid should not squish. Well, you're SH. The kid should not squish. Finger space. The. Oh, I know that. T H E. The kid should not squish. The. Finger space. Ant. A. E. N. Your N. The kid should not squish the ant. Uh-oh. I need to write why. So I could either put a period here and then start a whole new sentence, or I can use that fancy word. Do you know it? If you do, say it right now. Go. Because B E C A U S E because 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 the kid should not squish the ant because finger space it finger space has Because it has sweep a uh. oh yeah a a uh. finger space family f I hear f f uh, I hear a f um o oh. hear the l e I hear e and that's the end of my sentence I'm putting a period. Now I'm going to read it back, and if you have an adult next to you, they can underwrite with adult writing. If not, you can read it back to yourself until your adult sends it to me and tells me all about it. Ready? This is what I wrote. The kid should not squish the ant because it 
has a family. I learned that ants have families. I never really thought of that. So that's my opinion. I can't wait to hear yours.